A few years into the humanoid robotics frenzy, prices are already plummeting. It was only months ago that 16 grand for a remote, controllable human-like robot was considered shockingly cheap. Now they're dipping below 5 grand, with research-grade configurability and open-source flexibility once reserved for elite labs. Humanoids! Get your humanoids! Four feet of polished service and charm! Check them out, folks! While Chinese robotics leader Unitree intended to dominate 2026 with its next-gen fake human, several rivals in the mainland and the West are undermining that plan. The rising Beijing startup Booster Robotics, whose humanoids can be seen in autonomous football matches and underground robot fight clubs, is making waves with its latest offering that significantly lowers the barrier of entry into embodied artificial intelligence. Proving how fast things are moving, its bargain bin price is already being undercut by a rival that's rolling humanoids off assembly lines next door. Meanwhile, in Silicon Valley, one of the perceived leaders in the global race toward general-purpose robotics, One X Technologies, appears poised to offer its neo-androids much sooner and for much cheaper than anyone expected. Possibly with Apple's help. Booster Robotics was launched in June 2023 as the Chinese government grew increasingly fixated on leading the world in humanoids. Founder Cheng Hao, a former ByteDance and Amazon engineer, assembled the core team from the Robot Control Lab and RoboCup humanoid team at Tsinghua University, where he holds bachelor's and master's degrees. They introduced a working prototype by October 2023 that served as the foundation for future iterations. By April 2024, when Booster unveiled its second-generation robot, the People's Republic was all in on humanoids. The sector was heating up fast, thanks to a wave of funding that opened after Beijing made it national policy to mass-produce humanoids by 2025 and lead the world in fake humans by 2027. Several companies were rushing to release walking prototypes, but there was no clear front-runner. Fourier had shown its first-generation bipedal humanoid, the GR1, to President Xi Jinping during a visit to the startup Shanghai Lab. Unitree was going viral with videos of its first humanoid, the H1, walking and balancing, but it was still a long way from being real-world ready. Shenzhen-based UB Tech was working on its Walker X humanoid that impressed at CES and World Robot Conference events, but it was way too expensive for most use cases. The consumer electronics giant, Xiaomi, had teased its Cyber One to rival Tesla's Optimus, but updates were sparse and progress was unclear. The narrative that China was beating the West in robotics wasn't yet dominant. The perception, especially among the media and investors, still leaned toward the US as the innovation leader. Tesla's Optimus was commanding the most attention. Newcomer figure was hailed as a serious contender while Agility Robotics and Aptronic made inroads in logistics. Booster had its first shot of virality when it shared a short video of its prototype executing a 360-degree spinning get-up maneuver, rising from the floor in a smooth and dynamic motion. The timing was uncanny. Just days earlier, Boston Dynamics had introduced its revamped fully electric Atlas humanoid with a video of it pulling off the same maneuver. Booster launched its first commercial humanoid, the T1, in August 2024 at the World Robot Conference in Beijing. Standing 118 centimeters, or about 3 feet 10 inches, the pint-sized robot wowed attendees with its dynamic and autonomous movements. Still, the Booster T1 was overshadowed by Unitree's short king, the G1, which introduced itself to the world in May 2024 wielding a baton. By the time Booster's T1 entered the fray, Unitree had developed a mass production-ready version of its humanoid with a starting price of $16,000, which was considered shockingly low at the time. Booster presented the T1 as a developer-friendly humanoid platform for research, education, and open innovation. The robot's pricing ranged from around $34,000 to more than seventy-five dollars for premium variants which placed it well above what consumers or small startups could justify. Booster achieved mass production by October 2024 and delivered its first 100 units by March 2025. It became an official partner with RoboCup, 
the international robotics competition that started in 1997 and aims to develop humanoids capable of autonomously playing soccer well enough to beat World Cup champions by 2050. The win marks the first time an entirely robotic side has lifted the trophy. Booster showed it took the challenge seriously, as its robots made headlines in June 2025 for competing in the world's first fully autonomous humanoid robot football match in Beijing. With its latest humanoid, Booster is targeting a broader market. The Booster K1 stands about 95 centimeters, or a little over 3 feet, roughly 20 centimeters shorter than the T1. So the K1 is about the size of a 3-year-old child, while the T1 is closer to a first grader in stature. The K1 boasts a reported 22 degrees of freedom, 6 in each leg, 4 in each arm, and 2 in its head. It's powered by an NVIDIA Jetson Orin processor that delivers 117 tops of AI compute. The robot perceives its surroundings using depth cameras, LiDAR sensors, and onboard vision modules that map environments, detect obstacles, and recognize objects in real time. A 9-axis inertial measurement unit acts like an inner ear, helping the robot know which way it's moving or leaning to maintain balance. With full force control joints, the K1 can sense how much power each movement needs so its AI brain can adjust its strength, speed, and balance for smoother, more natural motion. Its microphone array picks up voices and sounds from different directions to facilitate natural communications with people. The K1's battery supports about 40 minutes of active use, which is lacking compared to the T1 and Unitree's G1, which both offer about two hours of continuous operation. It makes up for that with its sub $5,000 price point, which the startup announced with this cheeky video of the robot dancing to Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. According to Booster, what really sets the K1 apart is the ability to customize it. The open platform supports interfaces for Python, C++, and ROS2, and allows users to integrate external sensors, change control algorithms, and experimental modules. For young learners, it could act as a small and safe entry into heavy research robots. Small startups could use it as a prototype platform to build and test humanoid software before scaling to larger robots. This is how Amazon's Frontier Research Lab is using high-end unitary humanoids as the online retail giant seeks to automate last-mile delivery. More established labs and universities could use the platform to test advanced locomotion algorithms and reinforcement learning models and to study human-robot interaction. According to publicly available disclosures, Booster has raised at least $28 million to date and grown to around 45 employees. They're pushing the K1 into the world, as many of the perceived leaders in the race towards synthetic humans are shifting focus to smaller, more cost-effective machines. The success of the Unitree G1 touched off a race to the bottom. It prompted Chinese upstarts like Engine AI, Ajibot, and Noetics Robotics, as well as Western firms like Palo Alto-based K-Scale Labs to introduce pipsqueak-sized models that undercut its pricing. Beijing-based Noetics, which has also started mass-producing humanoids, says it will soon start taking pre-orders for its new robot named Boomi that's priced starting around $1,400. Marketed as a consumer-grade humanoid, Boomi seems closer to a STEM learning companion than an open developer robot like the K1. The trend is extending to more well-funded companies like Germany's Neuro Robotics, which recently teased a scaled-down version of its flagship for anyone humanoid in a video showcasing its robot training center. In Silicon Valley, One X Technologies is heavily implying it's about to offer a lower-cost version of its Neo Humanoid for sale. Like Neuro, One X is reportedly trying to raise a billion dollars as it races to get its robots into millions of homes. The startup, which was founded in Norway in 2014 and is now headquartered in Palo Alto, triggered speculation when it shared this cryptic 10-second video on social media featuring what looks like a variant of its flagship Android. The robot's face in the rendering looks softer and more minimalist than the Neo Gamma Humanoid 1X introduced in March 2025. The aesthetic suggests it's built from cheaper materials compared to Neo Gamma. As noted by robotics expert Scott Walter on X, the vacuum in the teaser appears to be a Hoover Jr., a compact version of Hoover's full-size operate models that became popular in mid-20th century British homes for their lighter weight and easier handling. 
It was known for being compact but still powerful. So, by featuring it, One X could be hinting that its new robot is smaller and efficient but still capable. One X shared the teaser the same day a photo of its Neo Gamma humanoid appeared briefly in an Apple ad. This fueled speculation the tech giant may be planning to acquire One X as it's reportedly eager to get into consumer robotics. While that's always possible, it's not the kind of thing companies like Apple typically tease on social media. Only time will tell. Make sure to subscribe for full details when they're available. For a comprehensive rundown of more humanoid robots to watch out for heading into 2026, check the related video.